We won. Mr. Stark. We won, Mr. Stark. G'day everyone, and welcome. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a replay here that was sent to me by my good mate CJ. Hello, hey, Ted Community Contributor. Check those links out down below. And he sent me this replay from uh, the most recent Clan Wars campaign that has just completed. Now, CJ being such a good player as he is, um, we're going to bully him a little bit, right? Yeah, I know that's up on screen there. Yeah, we're just going to keep tracking of how many shots CJ actually fails to pen in this one. Because having played Clan Wars of him in the past and competitively in campaigns, uh, he never once has he ever complained about people not paying their shots before. <clears throat> Anyways, this one here, CJ did this to me uh, maybe a few nights ago, and he was like, hey, Destroyer, hey, Destroyer, you might want to take a look at this replay. I do so well on this one. And he does do quite well. I will give it to him. Uh, as we can see here, just taking a quick look, this matchmaking looks kind of scuffed. Um, and that's one of the most interesting things about Clan Wars is when you get onto the same maps, such as Himmelsdorf, for example, you will start seeing teams bring out full 2790s, full chieftains, pretty much. And it's just something, especially if you're playing from a random battles perspective, it's like, ah, that's kind of terrifying. And in ways, it is. One of the funny things, though, is CJ absolutely getting railed here. <laughs> um, sitting out on the corner there, peeking out, obviously trying to get damage out. Uh, he's copped a fair bit of damage, though, in return, which is not ideal. Not ideal in the slightest. Now he's got to try and actually be, you know, kind of safe here, because he is one shot for everything on the enemy team now. Uh, which is not ideal, to be saying the least. CJ's now left on 335 hit points, and he's got to keep trying to work out how on earth he's going to win this game from this point onwards. Because as we can see, I think as he bounces another shot there off the 2790, um, yeah, the game's not going the, uh, the greatest, to be honest with you. Just looking for shots down here and to say stuff like chieftains, and... He's just got to work out what little bits of damage and opportunity he can get because that's all you can really do in the CS in this kind of position. You just got to sit there, you just got to look for shots, you just got to try and get your pens in. So any damage you can get is it's going to be, well, a huge benefit to you going through into the later stages of the game. Unfortunately for CJ on his. What was that shot, by the way? <laughs> um, chance shot. You never know if it might do a random lucky pen. No! Just go! You just gotta try and get whatever damage you can into enemy vehicles because any little bit of damage makes such a huge difference going into the end game. Now CJ's looking down here. He hits the upper plate of the 50B instead of the turret, which is uh not great. Uh he loses his friendly chief from there. But he's gonna keep getting a bit more damage. And from when he last got hit, he's gone up by another like 1.5, 1.7k damage. He's now at like 3,400 hit points worth of damage, which is pretty damn nice. Switching on here, because there was a bit of nothing driving going on there. We can see CJ's relocated. It's one B, uh, sorry, well, three left on his team against like six on the enemy team. And he's gonna try and uh, shoot this 2790 that's tried to play in the open. That's a very lucky pen there. Manchu in the 2790 in the corner there, he's actually managed to sneak around and actually get a good kill into the 50B. He's left on 47 hit points, um, so he's not going to be left long for this world. Lightning Man does pick up the 2790 there, um, but unfortunately, skipping on a little bit, see, uh, Manchu does go down and now we're left in a 2v3 scenario. A CJ coming screaming down the hill here and, what do you know it, a surprise 2790 exists. <laughs> Uh, which is not ideal to say the least. Obviously both of them being one shot hit points. Yeah, you don't really want to be fighting 2790 face on in a CS 63 at all. Can't push down the gap there because what happens if the other 2790 is trying to push after CJ? Not great. But here we're going to see some fantastic teamwork between CJ and Lightning Man playing his AMX 50B. And those guys are going to do some fantastic stuff. As I say, that Lightning Man gets absolutely spanked by two of the two 790s they're just holding in the alley. <laughs> Unlucky for him. However, he's still alive, he's still kicking, so it's going to be quite a close game. 
TJ just calming down in this corner here, trying to peek, trying to see where the sandwich is. And I yeah, no shit. Okay. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to be seeing. 2790 just sitting right there and yeah, bouncing the shot is never going to be doing you any good whatsoever. Now CJ's just like got to back it up. He's got to back it up fast. Get right out of there. Try and relocate. Hopefully the 2790 doesn't peak in this meantime. CJ's tunnel's been in. He's aiming. He's looking gas. The 2790 peaks. Quite fortunately for him, he didn't just like the 2790 just didn't want to peak. Um, I guess that's fair, considering he was concerned about maybe getting shot. But a little while later, Lightning Man's gone and situated itself just on the back of the cap there. CJ's in a sneaky little position, trying to see if he can get any shots as they push in to defend the cap. And well, just got to be patient and see what comes. All of a sudden, 279E gets proxy spotted in front of him. Uh, <laughs> not ideal. So now that they know where he is, I'm coming out. Oh, yeah. he here, CJ snaps a fantastic one in, finishing one of the 2790s off. And well, it's a 2v2 scenario now. Lightning Man fortunately has the hit points, so he can actually push around the corner there. I'm seeing it hugely well because of the text on the screen there, but he pushes around and manages to shut down the enemy 2790. CJ's going to back up. This enemy 2790 has got a peak, and that's going to be game over for CJ in the CS63 and Lightning Man playing the Amex 50B at the end there. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Thank you so much to CJ for sending that one through, and congratulations to everyone that did manage to partake in this latest campaign event. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing, liking, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace all.